Good evening. For those who I have not had the pleasure to meet, who may be watching from home, my name is Mike Howard, and I'm the Director of Intercollegiate Athletics and Recreation here at SUNY Plattsburgh. It is my absolute pleasure to welcome you to this year's Student Athlete Recognition Ceremony. I know I speak for all of us here in Cardinal Country when I tell you that this is the highlight event of the year for all of us who work closely with Cardinal Athletics. It has been my absolute pleasure to watch so many of you compete on the field and excel off the field with an equal amount of passion and desire. When I am asked quite often, as I am, what I like most about SUNY Plattsburgh, I say quite simply, it's the people. The faculty and staff throughout campus are supportive, our fans are extremely passionate, and our student athletes are simply awesome. We've enjoyed another spectac spectacular year, as again, this year we've watched Cardinals succeed in and out of the classroom, while at the same time, being outstanding leaders both on campus and in the greater Plattsburgh community. So thank you all, and I look forward to sharing many, many great years with so many of you. I would also like to say, most importantly, that we are thinking of you. My heart goes out to all of you and to our outstanding seniors who had semesters interrupted, seasons cut short, and precious time here on campus temporarily halted by the situation we find ourselves in today. I read a quote recently which said, life always waits for some crisis to occur before revealing itself in its most brilliant state. Please know that we are here for you and that tonight's event is the continuation of efforts we will be undertaking for many days to come in celebrating your accomplishments as we wait patiently for your return to the roaring crowds here in Cardinal Country. I have no doubt that our brightest days are ahead. We've got a busy night ahead of us, so at this time I would like to introduce our Director of Athletic Communications, Brian Savard, to take us through the rest of this evening's program. I would also be remiss if I didn't thank Brian for his work in putting this program together. I'm sure at the end of the evening, you will concur with me that it's a great event and a great night to celebrate Cardinal Athletics. So thank you, Brian, and, and I'll turn the program over to you. Thanks, Mike. Good evening, everyone. I'm Brian Sabar, the Assistant AD for Communications here at Plattsburgh State. And as many as you can tell, I'm starting to look like Tom Hanks at the end of the movie Castaway with the beard I've grown the past month. While COVID-19 has forced us to a digital ceremony, my hope is that the next half hour or so will give us all an opportunity to celebrate your accomplishments. This past year has given us a lot to celebrate, from women's hockey going 26-1-0 overall and winning its eighth consecutive conference championship, to men's track and field posting its best finish at the Suniac Indoor Championships in over a decade, to women's lacrosse in just its second season of competition going 4-0, to men's soccer playing in the SUNYAC championship game. Undoubtedly, there are countless other accomplishments that you all have had in and out of competition this year, and there is a lot to celebrate. At this time, I would like to introduce two individuals who are instrumental in the success of Cardinal Athletics. First, President Alexander Inyeti, who continues to guide the campus through these uncertain times with optimism and steady leadership. While President Agnetti is in his first year as our college's president, he has already made a profound impact on many and has shown a student-centered approach that ultimately will continue to benefit SUNY Plattsburgh students for years to come. The second person you will hear from is Vice President for Enrollment and Student Success, Brian Hartman. You may have seen Brian at many of your events during your time at SUNY Plattsburgh, and undoubtedly, he is one of the biggest fans of Cardinal Athletics. While Brian will be retiring at the end of this academic year, I have no doubt that he will continue to support all of your endeavors, both in competition and in the classroom. Hi Cardinals, President Yeti here. It's been a long day of Zoom meetings. Glad it's over. I'm so pleased to join you this evening. I'm looking forward to celebrating with you the wonderful achievements you've had this year as Cardinal athletes. And I hope that you have a wonderful banquet. But for some reason, this doesn't feel quite right. I've got an idea. 
I'll be right back. Now this is much, much better. I appreciate the opportunity to join you this evening for the annual Athletics Award Ceremonies. I want you to know that we are immensely proud of the success of Cardinal Athletics on this campus. Tonight, we celebrate your excellence, your excellence as students and your excellence as athletes. We celebrate your ethical values, we celebrate your lifelong learning, and we celebrate that you are responsible citizens in a global community. As your president, I am particularly proud of your academic success. This year's cumulative GPA for our women athletes is 3.28. For the men, the cumulative GPA is 3.06. The average GPA across all 334 Cardinal athletes is 3.16. This 3.16 GPA is higher compared to students who do not participate in intercollegiate athletics. This demonstrates the power of your learning community and the fact that you are remaining on track to earn your degrees. Finally, I want to say thank you for being our athletes and congratulations to the six award winners this evening. I look forward to seeing you all on campus very, very soon. And remember, every day is a great day to be a Cardinal. Be well, be safe, and have a great evening. Good night. Hello, Cardinals. We come here tonight to celebrate the achievements of our student athletes here at SUNY Plattsburgh. I want to add my uh, congratulations for all that you do for this college. Uh, as well as the local community. Uh, we're very proud of your accomplishments on the court, on the field, uh, but also in the classroom. You know, you're excellent students and you contribute so much, again, to the college as well as our local community. And we're very grateful for that. Uh, I also would like to acknowledge the coaches and the ad athletic administration for all they do to create uh, a positive experience for you as student athletes. A number of you are going to be recognized tonight for your outstanding achievement and I want to add my congratulations for that. Uh, but again, you know, I'm very proud of every one of you and again thank you for choosing to be a student athlete and especially choosing to be a Cardinal. Uh, Thank you very much and uh, best wishes for the rest of the semester and getting through this difficult time. Thank you. Before we get to the academic portion of tonight's program, we would like to recognize the All-Americans we had this past year. From women's ice hockey, Annie Katanka. From women's ice hockey, Hannah Corrali. And from women's ice hockey, Erin McArdle. Now I would like to introduce two individuals who are critical to helping many student athletes academically, Mila Sue and Tom Thompson. Mila is our faculty athletics representative, while Tom is our academic coordinator. Mila and Tom work tirelessly to advocate for athletics and help our student athletes excel in the classroom. Now let's hear from both of them. Greetings Cardinals, Mila Sue, your faculty athletics representative. Greetings from virtual land. I hope you have found useful strategies to work through these past few months of challenges and are preparing for new ones on the horizon. Trying to find a balance in this turmoil has been a mix of emotions to say the least. In times of chaos is when traditions, especially happy traditions, such as recognizing your accomplishments on and off the fields, rinks, turf, and courts, helps provide some continuity and comfort. There are a number of you who will be recognized in the next few minutes for your academic and athletic successes. I thank you all for your efforts, struggles, and resilience working through the past few months, addressing your coursework and your sport. Congratulations, stay safe, Cardinal Strong. Good evening, Cardinals. I am Tom Thompson. I am the academic coordinator for athletics. And I wanted to take just a minute to congratulate each of you um, one of my favorite nights of the year for all of your accomplishments. I know how hard you work uh, on, on the field, on the ice, on the court, and as tonight proves, in the classroom. So congratulations to each individual award recipient, to our similar award recipients, to our Chi Alpha Sigma inductees. Uh, what a tremendous new class of Chi Alpha Sigma inductees we have. And so as we come together tonight virtually to honor you, 
Um, please know that we're thinking about you. We miss you. Uh, we can't wait to get back on campus to celebrate with you. Um, but I am certainly thinking about you tonight and celebrating with you as well. Um, and just sending my best. So be well, take care, and go Cards. At this time, we would like to honor those who have earned academic awards during the year. For the third year in a row, the SUNYAC handed out the Elite 20 Award to honor the student athlete with the highest cumulative GPA at each SUNYAC championship site. Plattsburgh State had one honoree this year in Abdusabur Tijani of men's soccer. Now it's time to recognize our Chi Alpha Sigma inductees. In order to gain acceptance into Chi Alpha Sigma, you must be a junior or senior, have a cumulative GPA of 3.50 or higher, and be in good standing with your program. major award is the Richard D. Semler Award. The Semler Award is named after one of the college's top philanthropists, Richard D. Semler, a 1968 graduate who enhances his community at large 
in Northern Virginia and SUNY Plattsburgh with generous gifts that should be beyond his means. Each year, the Semler Award is given to the male and female seniors with the highest cumulative GPAs. This year's female Semler Award winner has been a four-year contributor to the Plattsburgh State women's soccer team. A COSINA academic, all-district, and all-SUNYAC honoree in 2018, the Rouses Point native has achieved a 3.96 GPA as a psychology major. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in honoring our female Semler Award winner from women's soccer, Katie Matan. This year's male Semler Award winner is graduating later this month as a junior as he will earn his degree in business administration. The Tonawanda, New York native, was nominated for the prestigious Hockey Humanitarian Award this year and owns a GPA of 3.91. Also successful on the ice, he earned nine SUNYAC Goaltender of the Week honors during his career and was a second team All SUNYAC selection last season. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in honoring our male Semler Award winner for men's ice hockey, Jimmy Parita. Now it's time for our athletic awards portion of the program. First up, we have the Senior Achievement Award. This award is given to a senior or a junior who has completed academic requirements and plans to graduate in May. Athletic accomplishment from the entire career will be considered. The finalists for the Female Senior Achievement Award are Haley Higgins from Softball, Brianna Kuhn from Women's Track and Field and Women's Volleyball, Carrie Corcoran from Women's Lacrosse, Hannah Corrali from Women's Ice Hockey, and Elizabeth Plimpton from Women's Track and Field. This year, two student athletes will share the honor of Female Senior Achievement Award winner. The first co-recipient was a three-time All-American and helped lead her team to two national championships during her time at Plattsburgh State. She became the fifth player in program history to earn three All-America honors, and she was selected to the NCAA All-Tournament team in 2019. The Glendale, Arizona native Became the, became the NAWHL's first three-time first-team all-conference honoree and helped the Cardinals win four conference championships. She tallied 82 career points on nine goals and 73 assists, tying for fourth in program history in career points for a defenseman. Ladies and gentlemen, your 2019-20 Co-Female Senior Achievement Award winner, Hannah Corrali from Women's Ice Hockey. The second co-recipient of the Female Senior Achievement Award wrapped up her career as one of the greatest sprinters and one of the most decorated student athletes in program history. She earned All-America honors in the 60-meter dash at the 2018 NCAA Division III Indoor Track and Field National Championships and qualified for nationals five times between the indoor and outdoor seasons. The Plattsburgh, New York native was a five-time SUNYAC champion, a three-time first-team All-SUNYAC honoree a one-time second-team All-SUNYAC honoree, and a one-time third-team All-SUNYAC honoree. She earned all-region honors on seven occasions and owns five program records, the indoor 60-meter dash, the indoor 4x200-meter relay, the indoor 4x400-meter relay, the outdoor 4x100-meter relay, and the outdoor 4x400-meter relay. Ladies and gentlemen, your 2019-20 Co-Female Senior Achievement Award winner, Elizabeth Plimpton from Women's Track and Field. Now let's meet the finalists for the Male Senior Achievement Award. Anthony Ciccarelli from Men's Track and Field. Philip Middleton from Men's Ice Hockey. And Kyle Smith from Men's Lacrosse. This year's Male Senior Achievement Award winner earned the honor despite having his senior season cut short. He entered the 2020 season as the reigning SUNYAC Defensive Player of the Year and was a two-time All-SUNYAC selection during his career. Notably, the Holbrook, New York native finished second in the SUNYAC in ground balls during each of the past two seasons, an impressive feat for a non-face-off specialist. A team captain, he was named to the SUNYAC All-Tournament team in 2018 and helped lead the Cardinals to their first ever SUNYAC championship in 2017. Ladies and gentlemen, your 2019-20 senior, Male Senior Achievement Award winner, Kyle Smith from Men's Lacrosse. Now it's time to honor the Athletes of the Year. The Student Athlete of the Year can come from any class year and only accomplishments from this year could be included in a nomination. First, let's meet the finalists for Female Athlete of the Year. 
Rukshana Dean from Women's Tennis, Brianna Kuhn from Women's Track and Field, Andy Katanka from Women's Ice Hockey, and Jazz Roberts from Women's Cross Country. This year's Female Athlete of the Year was a first team All-American, the NEWHL Player of the Year, a finalist for the Laura Hurd Award, which honors the top player in Division III women's hockey, and a first team All-NEWHL selection. Among the NCAA Division III leaders, she ranked second in points per game, third in power play goals, tied for fifth in points, sixth in goals per game, tied for sixth in both goals and game-winning goals. In seven games against nationally ranked teams, she recorded six points on two goals and four assists, including the game winner against Wisconsin River Falls on November 30, 2019. The Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania native helped Plattsburgh State win the NEWHL championship, earn the top seed in the NCAA tournament, and end the year on an 18-game winning streak. Ladies and gentlemen, your 2019-20 Female Athlete of the Year, Annie Katanka from Women's Ice Hockey. Now, let's meet the finalists for Male Athlete of the Year. Anthony Ciccarelli from Men's Track and Field. And Jimmy Marchena from Men's Soccer. Finally, the Male Athlete of the Year. Helping lead Plattsburgh State to its best finish at the Suniac Indoor Championship since 2006, he was the runner-up in the heptathlon by six points. During the heptathlon, he posted the best shot put mark in the event and his final score of 4,591 points was the third best in program history. It also ranked 36th in Division III. He won four events throughout the course of the season, and he was named to the All-Region team by virtue of ranking fourth in the region in the heptathlon. Ladies and gentlemen, your 2019-20 Male Athlete of the Year, Anthony Ciccarelli from Ben's Track and Field. And now, on to the senior recognition portion of the program. Normally, this would be when each senior would walk up on stage to get their blanket. In lieu of that, in the coming weeks, we will be mailing out your blankets to you.
To close out this evening, each of our spring sport coaches have, have recorded a special message for their seniors. Thank you again for tuning in and best of luck in finals and in all of your endeavors in the future. This is Coach Jones, head track and field coach. I want to send this message to my seniors. Michaela Barrett, Cass Costa, Taylor Connett, Anthony Ciccarelli, Brianna Kuhn, Ralph Cordell, Hannah Cunningham, Andrew Horan, Elizabeth Plimpton, and Callie Villamir. Congratulations on such a great athletic career. It is very unfortunate that you were all unable to compete in the spring outdoor track and field season due to the pandemic. I know you would have all performed tremendously and represented your team and school with pride. As a group, you have all accomplished great things in your time at Plattsburgh. You have set numerous school records, meet records, and facility records, as well as achieved SUNYAC conference titles, regional titles, all academic, all SUNYAC, all region, and all America honors. You have contributed to our team moving up the conference, regional, and national rankings. Your group has also done a great job of building our team culture. I want to thank you all for your hard work and dedication to our program, as well as to Cardinal Athletics, and I want to wish you the best of luck in the future. To our seniors, McG, McCabe, KBG, Leah, and Carrie, thank you for what you've put into this program. The last few years wouldn't have been the same without you. You are leaving this program much better when you than when you found it. We started as a sparse club team, went on to a two-win inaugural season, and this year, 4-0 undefeated. Not only did we go undefeated, but um, we had team, individual, and other career records that we set. More importantly, you helped establish an amazing team culture here and have built relationships that I hope will carry with you through the rest of your lives. Um, you are so, we are so proud of you. You've all shown that you are leaders and we hope to make you proud with the legacy that you leave behind and best of luck in the future. Hi Haley, congratulations on completing your senior year. I know this wasn't the year you were hoping for, but you're one of the most resilient people I've ever met. And I'm so proud of the way you've handled this situation. Um, you are a great role model for this team, and I'm so proud of everything that you have accomplished throughout your college career. I'm thankful I had the opportunity to coach you for the past two years. We wish you the best of luck in the future, and I can't wait to see all the success you have. Congratulations. Hey, Cardinal Country. Congratulations to all of the senior student athletes we're recognizing tonight. Uh, you all represented Plattsburgh with pride, class, enthusiasm. It was uh, a pleasure to watch you all play. Uh, to the spring senior athletes, you know, we all wish our careers could end on our own terms. Uh, so I know you all wish you could have had a little different ending to your career. Uh, a special thank you to the nine baseball seniors, uh, Steve Lydon and Kyle Petruzzi. Thanks for giving me two great years and a lot of great memories. Who will ever forget how much free publicity uh, Stevie Shakes brought to Plattsburgh by missing home plate. Uh, and Kyle, he'll always be Tony Hawk to me. Uh, Anthony Mag and Simon Alvarez, three years have already passed. It's amazing. Uh, I'll never forget Anthony's first start in Florida. Uh, should have been two homers. Anthony, stay safe uh, as you move on to your career to represent our country in the military. Simon, I'll always remember your uh, go-ahead home run at Brockport last season. Uh, Alec Favell, Tino Icaza, Connor Lyons, thank you for coming to Plattsburgh when Plattsburgh was at its worst. Uh, you've helped bring some pride back into our program. Alec, a jack of all trades, this was going to be your season to shine. Uh, thanks for always accepting any role I ever threw your way. Tino, I know you're not watching because nobody reminded you, but uh, thanks for all the work you did behind the dish in your career. Connor, thanks for always showing up to compete and be your very best every day. Uh, watch out for the ice next winter. Uh, Jack Birmingham and Steve Bryant, uh, I know you're planning to return, but as we learned this spring, you just never know what's going to happen. Uh, Jack, thanks for always giving me your very best. And Stephen, uh, if this is the end, uh, you'll never be forgotten at Plattsburgh State. Uh, to my guys and to every other senior athlete out there, please remember, once a Cardinal, always a Cardinal. This is Joe May, head men's cross coach. Just want to give a quick shout out to my seniors. 
Kyle Smith, Kevin Lichauer, Dan Bonafidi, Rob Bracelin, Alec Toko. Uh, really appreciate all that you guys have done for us over the past four years. You've all had a great career. I know our season got cut short, but really grateful for all that you did, and uh, I know Cardinal Country is too. Thanks, boys. Oh,